First up, we have the Alice in Wonderland syndrome, also known as Todd syndrome. Curiouser and curiouser. In this, the individual sees some objects as much smaller than they really are, and others as much larger than they really are especially when observing one's body. They may also find it very difficult to judge time and have many sensory distortions, including a highly altered sense of velocity. Second is body integrity identity disorder, also known as amputee identity disorder. I went blind on purpose, but I don't feel it was a choice. This is a neurological disorder in which a person has the overwhelming desire to amputate or disable healthy limbs or other parts of their body such as the eyes shown in the clip of the lady who suffers from this. Thirdly, we have the Capricor delusion, in which an individual has a reoccurring delusion that an acquaintance, usually a spouse or family member, has been replaced by an identical looking imposter or several doubles. This is most common in patients with schizophrenia or brain injuries. Next, we have the Fregoli delusion, which is essentially the opposite of the Capricor delusion. In this, the sufferer believes different people are a single person changing their appearance or is in disguise. Number five is a disorder called clinical lycanthropy. As you have just seen, individuals with a disorder experience the delusion of transforming into an animal and begin to behave like the animal they believe they have turned into. The clip shown is from a documentary called The Secret Life of Human Pups, which I will leave a link for in the description. Next, we have Stockholm Syndrome. Tailors old as time. Which is a psychological tendency of a hostage to bond with or sympathise with their captor. It is a popular belief that the story of the Beauty and the Beast is less down to true love, but rather a lot to do with Stockholm Syndrome. Despite the danger and harm inflicted on the victims by their captors, the victims will feel strong emotional ties and a positive relationship with their captors. This positive feeling towards your captor is known as the Stockholm Effect. And lastly, we have the Fugue State. No, sir. I changed so many times since this morning, you see. I do not see. Explain yourself. I'm afraid I can't explain myself, sir, because I'm not myself, you know. The fugue state is the name given for the experience of a reversible amnesia for one's personal identity, which include an individual's memories, personality, belongings, etc. It may last anywhere between a few hours to a few months and is associated with significant distress usually brought on by strong emotional or physical stresses. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, you can go read the full article on Psych2Go, which includes six more rare disorders. And you can also find myself on Tumblr, YouTube and Twitter, all of which I'll leave as links in the description.